And tonight, two experienced teams, Chris. We're going to see what's something go. you learned as a veteran that you wish you had known as you were just entering the NBA. It's one thing that you, you could not have learned, and that's pacing. How to pace yourself during the game. As a rookie, you're playing, coming from college, and the game is so slow in college. And when you come to the NBA, you figure, wait a minute, this 24-second shot clock, ah, oh, that's not much. But you realize after <laughs> about four times up and down the court, wait a minute, how do I figure this out? How do I switch right. gears? How do I lock in and play defense and then run my butt off to the other end as fast as I can to get an easy layup? And a lot of those things is not about being in shape, but the mentality and understanding how to take advantage of the next Play. Yeah, I like that. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And Davis can't get it to go. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. On its way from Curry for two. He can't get that one. Out to the right wing. about one minute into the first and it's Davis at the elbow that's tipped now the Warriors moving it up Wiggins with the ball a shot by Thompson and no one's around good and it's Green picking up the assist the perfect shooting form something Thompson's known for I mean when he's hitting the open shot uh, he operates at another level now here's LeBron. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Lock at six. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Green inside the three-point line and off the front iron and in it goes. Even a blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while, right? I did not think that was good. Caldwell Pope outside. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Thing about Curry, you have to admire Greg. He never wants the spotlight to himself, even as a leader of his team. He always wants his teammates to shine as well. You think back to when Clay was trying to break Curry's three point record last season? Curry was not only cheering for him, but actively setting him up to make it happen. That camaraderie Curry shows is why his teammates love him. And now here's Chris. Wiggins, right side. Over Caldwell Pope. And it's Wiggins missing. Los Angeles trails by five. Pass to Davis. Peters on the wing. It's stolen by Curry. Here's Chris. And Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. And there's the foul. We'll go on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Peters on the wing. Pass to Caruso. Now, here's Howard. He's covered by Thompson. Clock at four. A nice shot by Howard. I love the energy Howard plays with. It feels like no one can contain him on the way up. The drive by Thompson. Rebound by Smith. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. And Kuzma slams it in. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hops. Now here's Curry. No points in the game yet for him. 102 left in the first quarter of the game. 
Here's Waiters. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. It's Thompson off the drive. Lays it up off the glass. Thompson's got five now. Oh, man, an area where Thompson has improved a quicker first step on the drive. Inside. And the layup's good off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors with possession here. Curry outside. Hangs home the trifecta. All right, you got to try to cut Curry off. That's how he makes you pay for a quick pull-up. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. For three, Smith. Doesn't go for him. Warriors leading by four. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. I like how Curry shoots that one in rhythm. No need to force the issue. Pass to Morris. Over Chris. And the first shot of the night for him missing. With one on the clock. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Warriors lead by... And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Setting the pace early, G.A. I like this aggressive mind state. I, I love this approach so far. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warrior. And they lead by six, their biggest margin. Yeah, fans around the league love to hate Draymond Green for how outspoken he is. But I honestly believe the hate fuels Green. He loves to play the bad guy. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And C. Webb, as you were talking about with Draymond Green, uh, you know, he's embraced the role in the pan. The Lakers with the ball. Trailing here by eight. Kuzma outside. Six on the shot clock. Free throw line jump shot. James misses. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Pass to Pascal. On the wing, Thompson. Over Smith. The shot by Thompson, no good. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. James looking it over. Kuzma outside. Off target from outside. Warriors leading by eight. Thompson for three. Nice four for seven from the four with that shot. Good shot selection, largely dependent on getting open. Which players do the best job of moving, you think, right now without the ball? Period. Clay Thompson, 60 points, 11 dribbles. Did you hear me? I 60 got it. points, Shocking. 11 dribbles. It almost looks He's like a mystery, sick. doesn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, when you look at a guy like Kevin Mooney, I mean, he gives his team so much. I mean, great option to have either starting or off the bench with his versatility. And Chris, with Looney, he is a bit of a glue guy, and his defense is his calling card. Well, he slots into so many lineups as he can play the four or the five and, and basically guard anyone on the floor. He has a good motor and doesn't need a ton of touches to be effective. On offense, here are the Warriors. Here's Lee outside. Pass to Pascal. Here's Looney. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Down low. Here's Pascal. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. 
Here's LeBron. And the dunk by James. Man, you got to love watching James Scott for the slam. I mean, demonstrating how high he can get up off the drive. Here's Bowman. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. They get a hand on it. James with it. He's picked up by Lee. The layup missed. Warriors leading by 11. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. LeBron outside. Moves back up. Morris. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Okay, look. If you're going to foul Morris, you got to foul him hard. When you don't, he uses his muscle to finish over. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. 58 seconds left from the first half of basketball. And it's the Warriors' ball. It's a 10-point game. And it's sent back by Howard. No trespassing. Howard patrolling the defense. Here's Caruso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block... Force him to the line. Good on the second free throw. 34 seconds left now here on the second. To the wing right side. Here's Pascal. And again, it's the Warriors missing. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Pass to Caruso. From eight. Doesn't go that time. On up the court. Here's Pascal. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Dion Waiters. The Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. He hits both from the strike. He gets it up. And so it's the home team. Their lead at 11 points. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Los Angeles trails by 11. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the bright lights of L.A., perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> Not for LeBron James. This guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. All those people waiting for LeBron to start showing his age, you might not want to start holding your breath. This man's got a lot of time left in this league. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Green breaking loose. And Davis pulls it down. Uh, a little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around him. He could have attacked the basket. Pass to McGee. Back to James. Poked away. Just four to shoot. 
Yep, that one goes. James has got seven points in the game. There's almost no stopping LeBron. If he's allowed to get inside, too strong, too skilled. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. Los Angeles on D. Trailing by 10. Shot clock at 5. A second chance effort. And it's laid up and in by Thompson. 12 points for him. Oh man, you gotta love seeing Thompson flex his muscles on these shots. Doing well to power through the defense. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Curry attacking. Time out, time out. Count it. And the Warriors Curry. lead by 12. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes to Jordan. Following in his footsteps. And like his idol, LeBron having success in the movies as well. No one better to take that starring role. I mean, blockbusters, comedies. When his playing days are done, LeBron will continue to entertain. It's good. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's foul number two for him. Here's Curry over LeBron. And the Warriors tack on two more. Hey Kevin, how about the poise that Curry has? He, he never backs down. He stays with the shot, even when the defense is right in his mug. Now here's James. He's got nine. Plenty of space. Here's Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there. Crashing the offensive glass. Getting that second chance bucket. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim. No wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And the wide open shot from Green. Rebounded by McGee. The 15 footer. And it's LeBron missing. Warriors leading by 10. The drive by Thompson. Green, no luck. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. James. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Green inside. He can't hit that time. Good D by Thompson. And it's the Warriors ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. A three ball. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. Los Angeles trails by 10. James left side. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That's his first foul. Timeout called the Warriors. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Warriors leading by 10. It's Curry outside. Curry's the long-range jumper. Curry's got 12. He's made the most of the halftime break. He shook off the problems he had in the first half, and he started to settle in. From deep green, Warriors with the rebound. Curry deciding where to go with it. Here's Thompson. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. This is what makes Curry special on the offensive end, the ability to create for himself and others at the highest level of the game. 
shoots from the baseline. Dudley's shot is good. Great work to find the space to get off the open. And so it's the home regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We'll return shortly. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Players have different ways of leading. Some guys, Chris, are loud and fire. Others let their play do all the talking. What was your approach? Okay, it depended on what situation I was in. When I was in Sacramento, I could be the quiet, fiery guy that led through my actions because Vlade uh, was more of a vocal guy, and, and we had a really good-spirited team, so I didn't need to, to do much uh, besides what we did in practice. In my younger days, when you want to win, you want to get out there, and maybe everyone doesn't have the sense of urgency uh, that you do. You're, you're a little bit more vocal, but I, I've always believed that the best leaders, uh, no matter how, how well they communicate or, or or anything else the best leaders lead by example and if uh, you're telling everyone what to do and you're not doing it uh, usually it falls on deaf ears so go out there and do it by example first and, and everybody will follow good advice and here is Los Angeles now after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson it's hard to know what to do in these situations look Howard is intelligent he always knows where to roll to the right spot yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score. I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. Here's Caruso. To the middle. Stolen away. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And the attack mindset of Draymond is nowhere more evident in transition. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. And if you really want to make things hard on yourselves, this is exactly how you do it. Turnovers on back-to-back -back trips down the floor. And James picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And Chris, whether it's KD or Kyrie, We've seen stars grow irritated with constant questions about their free agent destinations. I, I would just suggest to them to go back in time. Nothing's new under the sun. Watch guys like Shaq, like myself, uh, other guys that were free agents. It's a time to talk about it, and, and it's a time not to. And You can even speak about your impending free agency without um, insulting the fans where you're playing and without guessing of maybe where you will go next year. I, I just think that you know, guys just need to be a little more sensitive with it. Fans really want to know, and if the media is going to ask you the question, you got to figure a way how to handle that out uh, delicately. Well said. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. That one from long range. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Well, it's a matter of pride and a matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. Chris, we read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there's a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, Good yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's out just bounds. start with Akeem. <laughs> then we go to Matumbo and B. Cameroon. How about after the Kupo, who has Nigerian parents? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we we can keep on going. How about Abaka help by Siago? Oh my goodness! Yes. There's some talent out there, baby. And yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball African League. Africa, stand up, baby. Now here's Green, and the Warriors miss again. Morris outside. That's his first personal foul. Into the line for Los Angeles. 
132 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Dudley. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Now here is McGee. Cook looking it over. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Steph Curry. What a teammate he was tonight, setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on what seemed like every possession. Sinks the three-pointer. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. And that's a possession waste. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And that one's good, Caruso. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. Oh, that'll make any coach happy. Aggressive defense, then changing ends quickly. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawed.